Take my will and make it thine, it shall be no longer mine. Take my heart, it is thine own, it shall be thy royal throne, it shall be thy royal throne. Hello. Today is Thursday, June 25th. I realize that well, at the beginning of doing these, I think that I had included the date. I had gotten away from that habit. But it's good to orient ourselves to the time and place. When I was working in a preschool, we started every single day by singing a song that would say what the day of the week was. It's good to remind us of where we are in time and in space. Actually, part of doing all of these Psalm A Day videos, especially with the backdrop of injustice awareness going on in the United States right now, doing these videos, hearing the ancient words of the Psalms, the, these past couple of weeks going along and doing the dismantling structural racism activities every day, injustice is not new. It has been going on as long as there have been people who have power over other people. It is embedded in us, even if we don't think that we are directly contributing to systems of injustice, we are part of systems of injustice. That actually brings me around to today's activity for dismantling structural racism, is to be very introspective. There's no link to send you to. There's no video to watch. There's nothing to read other than your heart. Today's activity is to notice things. Notice the structures and the practices in your church, especially in your community of faith both your local one that you are daily a part of, your denominational one, the history of your faith. What structures and practices help or hinder racial equality? What is holding the church? What is keeping them in these these structures of racism. Even as we say, in Christ there is no east or west, no south or north, no male or female, no Jew or Greek. How are we still part of the system? I have lots of reading to do. I, I went to a wonderful seminary there's a very strong tradition in the, this particular sem seminary of, of lifting up black voices. But that was a hard-won tradition. There were race riots on the campus in the 60s. It, it was, they went into lockdown for a bit because of structural injustice and racism in a seminary that was supposed to be one that lifted up black voices. So, I'll be going back over those books that I bought to take theology classes in seminary, and I'll be going back through those books and reading them with new eyes and understanding. Well, that's quite heavy for a little while. So I invite everyone to come together in a moment of prayer and reflection as I read today's psalm, psalm number 36. Transgression speaks to the wicked deep in their hearts. 
there is no fear of God before their eyes. For they flatter themselves in their own eyes that their iniquity cannot be found out and hated. The words of their mouths are mischief and deceit. They have ceased to act wisely and do good. They plot mischief while on their beds. They are set on a way that is not good. They do not reject evil. Your steadfast love, O Lord, extends to the heavens, your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the mighty mountains. Your judgments are like the great deep. You save humans and animals alike, O Lord. How precious is your steadfast love, O God. All people may take refuge in the shadow of your wings. They feast on the abundance of your house, and you give them drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the fountain of life. In your light we see light. O oh, continue your steadfast love to those who know you, and your salvation to the upright of heart. Do not let the foot of the arrogant tread on me, or the hand of the wicked drive me away. There the evildoers lie prostrate. They are thrust down, unable to rise. Let us pray. Almighty God, we read in your holy text that you lift up all people who call on your name. But we also read in your holy text that you hate injustice and you want to root it out, root it out of our hearts. And so we also read in your holy text, O God, that when one group within your people faces particular injustice, you shelter them, you lift them up. They are whole in you, O God. Help us who are those who through our unconscious actions, disseminate injustice, help us to see where our hearts are hardened or where our eyes are blinded, that we may better know you and support your love, O oh God. In your name we pray. Amen. God be with you till we meet again. When life's perils thick confound you, put unfailing arms around you. God be with you till we meet again.